part 159 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss tree view control in ASP.NET. This is continuation to part 158, so please watch part 158 from the ASP.NET tutorial before proceeding with this video. The tree view web control is useful to display hierarchical data in a tree structure. Just like the ASP.NET menu control, the content for the tree view control can be specified either directly within the control itself or the tree view control can be bound to an XML file, web.sitemap file, or to a database table. In this video, we'll discuss specifying the content directly within the control itself, and in a later video session, we'll discuss binding the tree view control to different data sources. A tree view control is a collection of tree node objects. Let's understand using this tree view control with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we have been working with in the previous sessions of this video series. First of all, let's add a web form. And let's first set a style attribute on this div tag. And let's set font family to Arial. Let's now drag and drop tree view control. Tree view control should be present under the navigation tab within the toolbox. We want to configure. Let's actually put this tree view control inside this div tag. So we want to configure this tree view control in such a way that we get this output that we see here. Basically, this output represents the logical structure of a website. At the root level, we have home, employee, employer, and admin pages. And under employee, employer, and admin, we have three more pages. Okay, so let's see how to configure this tree view control so that we get this output. So as discussed before, a tree view is a collection of tree node objects as you can see here. Look at that, we have got nodes element and within that we have several tree node elements. The first one is the home tree node and then we have employee tree node and a employee tree node we have three more tree nodes upload resume, edit resume, and view resume. So basically, a tree node can contain another tree node. And that's how this is able to display hierarchical data in a tree structure. And along the same lines, we have employer tree node. And this employer tree node has got three other tree nodes underneath, underneath it. And along the same lines, we're going to have admin tree node and three more tree nodes underneath that. To speed things up, I have already implemented this HTML. So let's copy it from the notepad. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's specify the nodes element. And within that, we are going to have these three nodes. Let's actually format this HTML properly. And to do that, let's select the entire HTML and press Control K and D. All right. So here we have the home tree node. We have employee tree node. And that has got three more tree nodes. All right. With this change, let's run this and see if we get the output that we expect. OK, so we get the same output. Now look at this. We can expand and collapse this tree view control. So under employee, we have got these three pages. And under employer, these three pages. Now, if you look at the tree node object, it has got several attributes. Now, notice that we have specified text attribute. Text is something that you see and click on. Navigate URL is the page to which you will navigate to when you click on that link. And look at that. We have also specified target attribute. So what's the use of this? Here it is. When I click on home, look at what's going to happen. It's opening home page, but it's doing that in a new window. And that's possible because we are using target attribute here. Similarly, if I select edit resume, look at that. That's opened in a new window. Um, we still have the original page here. All right. So that's how we specify the content for the tree view control directly inside the control itself. Now, to configure the look and feel of the tree view control, there are several styles. For example, when I hover the mouse over any tree node, we want maybe, let's say, a green background color, and we want the font to be bolded. If that's the case, then we can make use of this hover node style. 
Let's see how to apply that. Let's flip this to the design mode. Let's get to the properties of the tree view control. And then look at this. Here we have hover node style. So let's say we want green background color. And maybe we want the font to be bolded. So let's set font bold to true. Let's run this and see if that style is going to take effect. Look at that. As I hover the mouse over, we got green color and the font is also bolded because the font color is um, you know, blue. We can't see it properly. Let's actually change the font color to white. And let's say we want to change the font color for the entire control. If that's the case, you can ex actually specify four color at the control level itself. So four color, let's say we want that to be white color. And look at this, as soon as we have specified white as the four color, you know, you can't see anything here. That's because your background color is white, your font color is also white. And, uh, you know, you have other styles as well. For example, let's say I want to specify leaf node style. So what are leaf nodes? Leaf nodes are those nodes which doesn't have any children. So here, home doesn't have any children underneath it. So that's a leaf node. Upload resume, edit resume, view resume are leaf nodes because they don't have any children underneath them. So let's specify the background color for leaf node style. Let's say maybe we want red background color. So look at that, leaf nodes have got that. And we can also specify root node style. What are the root nodes within our um, sample tree node? Employee, employer, and admin. So let's specify the background color for root nodes. Maybe we want navy as the background color for root nodes. All right, with all these changes, let's run this and see if those styles get applied. Look at that, they got applied. Look at the hover node style. So I'm sure you can play around with these styles. Now, at the moment, we are specifying these styles in line on the page itself, but we can specify these styles in an external style sheet, and then we can link the class within the style sheet with the respective style using CSS class attribute. And we have discussed how to use the CSS class attribute when we were discussing menu control. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.